Oh no! Disney's Wish expected to debut as number one, but loses to Hunger Games Napoleon at the box office. Oh shit. Oops! Oops! What happened? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened, everybody. We fucked Disney up. That's what. We fucked them up! Of course! But why are why listen? Walt Disney Company's wish had been expected to rule the Thanksgiving weekend box office, but moviegoers instead feasted on leftovers as the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes led ticket sales uh, for the second weekend, according uh, to the estimates on site. Yeah, they're mo not another movie. I didn't. Even, I, got, I got to be honest, people. I didn't even know this fucking this was a thing. I didn't even know. Did anybody even know Wish was coming out? Shit, man, I was still laughing over the Marvel's fail. We saw that one coming. We saw that like a fucking meteor shower. Woo! Oh, man, oh, man. So it goes on to uh, how... Uh... Choo! Holy shit. All these Disney movies, they keep fucking failing. Because nobody wants to watch them. Nobody wants to watch them. The Songbirds of Hunger Games or whatever the fuck they call it, the 28.8 million, not much. Napoleon, only 20.4 million. Keep in mind, most of these movies they make with a very huge fucking budget. Uh, Wish only made uh, 19 million. Uh, Trolls Band Together. These movies I didn't even hear of. Only seventeen million. Thanksgiving movie? A Thanksgiving movie? Is that supposed to be a horror movie? Only made seven million. The Marvels that they made on a budget of over three hundred million dollars. That they only made six million dollars. Ugh! Ugh! Grab the scout. Cut that fucking scout, baby. Oh, yeah, Tyler Swift, uh, the heiress tour, only 2.3 million. Wait, I thought Tyler Swift was the shit, huh? Friday Night at Freddy's, only one point. Now, for, to be fair, I don't want to sound like I'm a scalp, a scalper, scalper, uh, uh get it? Uh, I want to tell you I'm just beating down on the movie business, because a lot of these movies they make with a short budget, so, but... I mean, if you look at the Marvels, if you look at Wish, they're putting a lot of money into these movies for the budget. And they're, they're not making them back. But uh, we might have... Here is a Disney executive who wants to put more gay, gay leads. Uh, let's, uh, let's check it out. I'm, I'm here as a mother of the last couple of weeks. Um, and open two queer children, actually. Um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. A one pansexual child! Like Lando Calrissian, remember he banging robots? They turn him into a freak who bangs robots. So she had one transgender child, which she totally had no push into, by the way. Didn't, didn't even think of pushing her child in being transgender. Or being a pansexual. Do you know kids know nothing about this shit, by the way? So where did he get it from? Well, they sure as hell didn't get it from their mom. Um, and that was the thing that really got me because I have heard so much from so many of my colleagues over the course of the last couple of weeks um, in open forums and through emails and phone conversations. And um, I feel a responsibility to speak um, not just for myself, but for them, um, to all of us. We, we had a we had an open forum last week at 20th, where, um, again, the home of, of really incredible, groundbreaking LGBTQIA stories over the years, where um, all this shit nobody fucking cares about. Nobody cares about nothing. Is LGBT is fucking groundbreaking? It's a stupid narrative. Nobody's watching this shit. One of our execs stood up and said, you know, we only have a handful of queer leads. Oh, I, we only have a handful of queer leads. Huh, huh. 
What what's what's a handful? What's a handful of queer leads? They fit in the palm of the hand. Is that part of the metric system? I wonder. Well, we got a serious problem, Disney. We need we need to get more queer leads in these movies. That's why they're failing. We need to reach out to the LGBT. And then we're going to be making in the billions, the Mondays. I don't think that's got a good idea. In our content. And I went, what? I think what? That be true. And I... No! What are you talking about? Get out of here, transphobe! We need, we need the LGBTs! And the, we need queers! In these movies now! That's why Wish failed! Because there ain't no goddamn queers in these movies! There, you know why the Marvels failed? Because there ain't no queers in it! We need more queers! Queer this shit up now! Or I'm gonna be firing all of ya! Yeah, my kids are queer and trans! So should all these characters. You know why Mickey Mouse has failed? You know why Steve Bell Willie is a piece of shit? Because he's not queer. But we can make a difference. We can make a difference. We can turn them all queer. We can make Lassie queer. Benji queer. Mickey Mouse Donald Duck queer him up right now. Queer. Officially queer. We want to make that new Tron 2026 movie, right? Queer them up. Queer them up. Send them out. Goofy is now queer. He is the Zer Zay. We're going to run on pronouns. We want pronouns on that movie tickets, ladies and gentlemen. ASAP. Well, you got a transphobe question. You can shit get the hell out of here right now. I'm serious. What the hell? And I, and I realized, oh, it, it actually is true. We have many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. And and and, and, and and nobody wants to watch it. See, anytime you put a woman in charge, especially in fucking Disney, you know it's over. It is fucking over. Women destroy Disney people. Women destroyed it. Because they're, they're so left-leaning. Uh, and yet we don't have enough leads um, and narratives. In no, wrong. We got leads. We don't have enough queer leads. We only have a handful of sprinklets. We can, ah, Tinkerbell, queer. Peter Pan, queer. Batman, not yet, but he's going, we're going to make him queer. We got to make him queer. We got to talk to Warner Brothers. Gay characters just just get to be characters, um, and and not have to be about gay stories. And so um, that's been very eye opening for me. Um, and and I I can tell you um, it's something that I feel perhaps had this moment not happened, um, I as a leader and me as my colleagues would not have focused on. And and going forward, um, I, I certainly will be more so. I know that we will be, and um, and I hope this is a moment where, shoot, um, the fifty percent of the tears, <laughs> sorry, are coming. Um, uh, we don't, we just don't allow each other to go backwards. Oh yes, people. Oh yes. This is a recipe for disaster, without a doubt. The, uh, D Disney learned nothing from it. Their movies are bombing left and right. So one of these executives like, hey, I got a great idea. Well, my kids are trans and Zs are Zs. So why don't we incorporate that into the movies? Because people aren't going to watch it. All these movies people are not watching because there's no entertainment. It's all pushing the message. Nobody wants the message. People want to sit and watch old classic movies that push no messages. They want to be entertained. I don't see Disney getting themselves out of the hole. I see them digging themselves deeper in the hole. 
We we fuck the these people up. We fucked them up really good. We fucked them up really good. So anyway, people, that's the video. I don't think Disney's learned a lesson. What do you think? Uh, there we go. I just erased everything. So oh, that's all right. Don't ma don't really matter, does it? Can't erase Disney. But uh, anyway, be safe, stay safe. Yes, you can follow me over here on BitChute. and uh, follow me under the Iron Patriot. That's right, everybody. Anyway, if you want to be kept updated on what's going on with Disney, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Be safe, stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one. Good night. Woo!